Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Andre again with Garage Door Guidance. Uh, recently did a video on replacing the trolley on a Chamberlain chain drive. Uh, I've got an, a linear model LD033 and that's a chain driven garage door opener. As you can see, you got a little chain right there. And so today we're actually going to go ahead and do the trolley replacement on the linear garage door opener. And that's this piece right here. Um, this whole little black part that moves along the rail as you open and close the garage. If you do need this part, I have that link down in the description box below. First thing we're going to do is take off this little arm just so it's out of the way. And you do that by removing, there's just a little pin down here. You just yank that out. So this isn't really a big important part, but um, it's just so it's not in my way. Set that aside. So now I don't have anything kind of holding this. Um, so from here we can proceed. So next step, we want to loosen the chain. And that's done with this piece here. You can see you've got little uh, 7 16 nuts here. And basically just unscrew those. Once those are unscrewed, now you actually have to twist this whole piece. So if you go counterclockwise, we'll loosen that and you can see where those kind of meet up right there. Um, you got the screw there and the screw on this side. If you go counterclockwise, see how loose your chain has gotten. So once you have that done, that will free up all the tension on the chain remove it so now this piece is completely free from there you want to slide this guy all the way to the front so we'll do that here so all the way to the front here so now durr it's not going to be attached to air like it is for me you obviously have it attached to a wall so what you have to do you can leave it attached to your header if you'd like but if it's easier to work with uh, just pull out that cotter pin and just have this kind of free in the front um, it's not too difficult to detach so it shouldn't be a big issue and then from there once you have that off you have two screws that you need to remove um, and so if you could see that you got right there and here so those are the two half inch I believe uh, half inch bolts let me show you that you see you got the nut on the other side so basically we unscrew these guys and this separates this whole part at the end and that'll actually help you so once that's off you'll be able to remove that trolley and replace it with a new one so just like that put that on the side Do the other one. So now you can see that comes off like that. So like I said, if you want to leave it attached, that's not a big deal. Um, so what I'm going to do is just going to let this go off to the side here. But you can see now there's nothing keeping me from removing our trolley. So that's that linear trolley, um, and I think it's compatible with a couple different models, so I'll link that below in the descriptions again, and that's pretty much it. Um, so from there, you would obviously get your new part. Uh, you come in here, slide that guy back in. You want to make sure that you have it the same way it was before, so the chain was sitting in the left side for us. So we want to leave that there. We're going to slide this guy back in. I like to put the bolts into the railing. Again, it's just uh, if you have it set up differently, you're more than welcome to play with it, see how it'll work for you. So from there, you just put the bolts back in. and tight that's all back together so if you did remove it just put this uh, put that back in the little header bracket there so you put your cotter pin back inside 
and your motor is reconnected. Now from there, we're just going to go ahead and bring that trolley back to the center where we started. Even though it doesn't matter too much at this point, but just for the sake of video, put it back in the center. I'll put my chain back in here like it was before. At this point, you can reattach the the arm. So now that that's all back together, you go back to the piece up here, and now we go clockwise. That's going to tighten it back up. You just want this moderately tight. I don't want to overdo it. So see, this is still a little loose. You want it to be, you know, to where it's not hitting the bottom of the rail. So from there, I could continue tightening it with just the pliers or flathead. That looks good. So you just want it kind of like bike tension, essentially. And from there, go ahead and tighten up those 7 16 bolts back up. And you're good to go. That's pretty much it for this video. Honestly, it's not too difficult. Um, all you really need is a half inch socket or a wrench and a 7 16 wrench. Uh, the 7 16 wrench is for the, the chain loosening. And the half inch wrench or socket will be for removing the front end up there. As you saw earlier, that's just to remove the front bracket there. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like. Um, if you have any questions for me, leave it in the comments below. Again, I have these parts linked down in the description if you need them. Uh, again, this is for the linear chain drive model LD033. Uh, but again, it's compatible with a couple different models, so if you need it, you can check it out and go from there. Uh, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe. I just want to say thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.